Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institute. Today we are going to discuss about letters and how to take your OET exam because there are many uh, students who will take their exam a day after tomorrow. So I will try to make sure that you get everything, whatever uh, is required. For now, please subscribe our channel if you have not. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institute. We'll talk about various kinds of letters and things. All right, I'm just going to take it along. Okay. Yeah. So first thing that I would like to tell you, if you are having an exam tomorrow, first of all, the most important thing is all your mind preparation. Mind preparation means that you really want to do nice when you are actually looking forward to big day like OET exam. So you need to be very calm. Again, yes, it's a normal thing, of course, but that is important to remember this important thing that be at calm. Tomorrow, the first thing that you should do when you are going to take care of your listening the first thing when you get up early in the morning after taking God's name, this is the most important thing because it will make you more calm. And after that, the first thing you will do, you will listen to any video, any audio, means any listening, any English song, but try to listen to it only for 5 to 10 minutes. If you are by chance listening to OET with audio, do not kind of attempt the questions. It's just to warm you up. This warm up will play a very crucial role because when you will enter the exam, if you are not warmed up, like if you have not listened to anything in English, then it becomes the start of the day. So it is not good. So please listen to anything in the morning. Read at least 10 lines of any OET reading. You don't have to attempt the question, but again, read any 10 lines. It will again warm you up. These two things are very important to take your exam. Third, when you will get the listening part A, normally listening part A is very important, but be careful that you write it nicely. It should be clearly written because manually it would be checked. So please write it nice and neat. After the listening part A would be part B and C, then reading part A again. This is the most important thing. Out of one to seven questions, please only attempt five to six easy questions a b c d that you have to write in which paragraph it is do not try to find all the seven questions in the first round so you need to do it only in three to four minutes maximum three minutes to four minutes maximum that your five questions would be done when you will reach to eighth ninth and tenth question again you should have the same thing in mind that in eighth question is talking about medicine so that should be in the treatment part or should be in the classification of the drugs. If something is talking about research, then you need to find that in that part. That is how you save time. Yesterday, we discussed all these things. I will put that video as the last video of this recording. So when you will end this video and this complete video, you will get the recording of the reading part A strategy, which we recorded yesterday, which is very important. Then also you will carry the same strategy of reading part B and C that attempt only easy question first. Again, you will be thinking that it is too easy to understand. If you will implement this, you will surely pass. Reading part B and C only easy question first. What we want is out of 22 questions, if you can find around 12 questions in first 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Those 10, 12 questions are the easy ones. If there is any difficult question, do not attempt it in the first round. Then you will have 20 minutes left to attempt difficult questions. So at least your mind will feel secure that you have done your exam because all the easy questions are done. And if you score 10 out of 12, then obviously your chances are more to pass because you have got 10 more questions, which you can do better. And if out of those 10 questions, you get four or five right, that means you will surely pass. That means OET exam is a well-planned exam and it follows a particular strategy. First is to warm you up with listening and reading before you leave or when you are about to enter your exam. Then you do your writing, then you do your reading part. Then you go to one or two questions would be difficult, whether it is listening part A, listening part B and C, don't worry about them. Obviously, there are some questions which would be difficult. You just need to score around 32 out of 42. So obviously 10 questions would be difficult. Rather 12 questions would be difficult. So if there are 12 questions, 
you think they are very difficult, then it is okay. In out of those 12 questions, you will score at least four or five, right? And if you do all the easy questions, right, you will score more than 350 without any problem. So that is what is the strategy. If you do not understand this video, please listen to this video again. This is very, very important to follow this strategy. And this strategy will certainly help you to prepare for your exam day. And you would be able to clear your exam in this short only. If you will understand all this warm up. Listening part A, if one or two questions are difficult, don't worry. Write it neatly. Reading part uh, A, when you reach out of the first seven questions, do only easy questions first. Then you go to reading part B and C. Again, do only easy question first. After 15 minutes of reading part A, they will take your reading part A. So leaving difficult questions do not mean that you should not attempt in 15 minutes. Again, the first 10 minutes, you should be done with your 15, 16 easy questions of reading part A. So I hope you all understand because if you guys are preparing for OET, then it is easy to understand. For the people who are attending this lecture for the first time, obviously they will not understand that much, but people who are taking exam, they would be able to understand. I'm just going to unmute you guys to ask you if there is anything, the people who are having exam tomorrow, if they have not understood anything, they can ask me. Please guys, I'm just going to unmute you because this is important. If you have any questions related to your exam day after tomorrow in reading or listening, you can, then we will record the writing video. Any questions, please. Any questions. Warm up. Everybody will do before the exam. Then when you reach the exam, stay at calm. One or two questions or five or six questions can be difficult. Nothing to worry. Reading part A, only easy question first. Out of one to seven questions, only five questions would be easy approximately. It can be six, it can be four. But on an average, five questions are very easy that you can easily trace A, B, C, D where they are. Then you do eighth, ninth, tenth question in the same way. Difficult questions would be done in the last. Then um, reading part B, again, out of the first six questions, you will do only four questions, which are easy. Two questions would be difficult. That is obvious. Part C, extract A can be little difficult. There would be three questions out of eight, which would be difficult. So again, you can leave those questions. Then you reach to part C, second extract. Means do only easy question first and difficult questions would be done later on because they are difficult. Anyhow, they can be wrong. So if the difficult questions would be on the late, that means you have given good time to the questions which were easy and easy questions should be right. Again, the best part of OET, if you do all the easy questions right, if you do all the easy questions right, you will 100% pass. If you do all the easy questions, even 90% of the easy questions, if you will do right, you will pass because there will be two, three difficult questions which will eventually go right out of the 10 questions. So it is obvious. So please do not take stress and you guys are brilliant being with us. And even if you are our YouTube followers, you know, we have worked very hard. We means you and me. We all have worked very, very hard for our preparations. You have followed our videos and the students who have taken coaching from us. I hope there should not be any doubt, but if you have any doubt, you can ask me because I really believe that OIT is a test that can surely be achieved with our hard work in one attempt only. But any doubts, if you have, please ask me, feel free to ask. Any doubts, please, in between reading and listening, how would you manage time or something like that? Anybody, please? Any question? Any question, please? I've unmuted you. You may ask me any question, please. No, sir. Thank you. All good? Sure. So warm up is very important. I know you would be in hurry. Take your passport. Take your printout of the email today only or maximum tomorrow. Don't leave it for the last day. Everything should be packed in a bag. Your pencil, eraser, you will get it over there, but pencil, eraser, printing email, close your bag in a nice way so that tomorrow you don't have to worry that you have to take this thing, you have to carry this thing. Don't do these small things because this disturbs your mind and makes you anxious. So just warm up and go to your exam. Would that be all good for every one of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done. Wish you all the luck and nothing to worry. OIT is the best friend. Because it is going to help you to reach to your destination, to reach to your dream. So it is your best friend. Nothing to get anxious about it. It's it's something that, that's, that helps you to reach to your goal. So it is not your enemy. It is your best friend. 
So take it as your best friend and do the best. I'm going to hold on to this video. Then second video now we will record about a letter referred back or a discharge back letter. Let's see how it goes. And uh, thank you very much. I'm attaching this reading part A video now. Please listen to this video, the strategy so that you keep in mind tomorrow. Also listen to this video again so that your mind is all prepared to follow this method. Thank you very much. See you guys. Wish you all the luck for your exam. Thank you.